Hey YouTube, so today we're going to show how I apply aloe vera to my air. So right now I'm just washing the aloe vera. You can get your aloe vera from your local food market, Whole Foods, ShopRite, Farmer's Market, wherever. Here I'm just using some dishwashing liquid to go ahead and wash my aloe vera. Got that dishwashing liquid from Casco, I believe it's the clear and free one. And now I'm just going to rinse it off and go ahead and dry it. So aloe vera has a lot of good benefits for your hair. It straightens your hair. It balances the pH. It's good for your scalp. It's just great. It makes your hair feel a lot different. It defines your curls. And it's something that I use every other week in my hair. So here we're going to cut the aloe vera. And we're going to get it prepared and ready to apply to our hair. The end part right here I don't use. I cut it off and I put it aside. I throw it out actually. Normally when you cut that part, a yellow liquid comes out versus the clear liquid that we need for our hair. All right, so now I'm just gonna cut it in chunks for it to be applied to my hair. And I need to separate the aloe vera to get the part that I need, the juicy part. So I go ahead and cut the edges off. And then I went ahead and split it into two pieces. When you open it up, that's when you're going to see the clear part that you need to apply to your hair. I'm just going to go ahead and do it to every piece right now. All right, so here it's done. All the pieces are cut and I'm ready to apply it. These are the things that I need, the supplies. That's Jamaican black castor oil, the aloe vera, and of course some clips. And the comb, I forgot the comb. So here I had my hair in a bun. It's been in a bun all week since I last washed it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take this down. I do use a lot of stuff to get my hair in a bun. I like it very neat. And I did have gel in my hair at this point. I use the white Eco Styler gel. And it's just, here we go. So you can see my hair, even though it was in a bun, it's a bit dried out. Um, the curls are stretched out. There's no curl patterns. And that's exactly why I wanna go ahead and use the aloe vera. And also I do have dry scalp. So that was just a little light check. <laughs> I do have dry scalp. So the aloe vera helps a lot with my dry scalp as well. All right, so here I'm gonna sec try to section my hair off. I'm not gonna really comb it out, but I'm gonna use the comb to just help to part it a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair in four pieces. I don't normally comb my hair when it's dry, just because it's harder. I normally just use my finger and um, just use the comb to kind of guide me as to where. So now I have my hair in two halves and then I'm going to go ahead and separate those two halves into two more halves. So I've got four quarters. Well, whenever I wash my hair or I um, apply conditioner to my hair or the aloe vera to my hair or any type of leave-in conditioner or treatments, um, deep conditioning treatments, I go ahead and separate my hair in four quarters. I find that it's easier to apply, it's easier to manage, it's easier to detangle, it's e just easier overall to uh, go ahead and apply products to my hair when it's all sectioned out in four pieces. I use less product, it's not wasting and it's just easy. So there we go, go ahead and put that into two and then the other side. And we're going to get this show on the road. All right. There. Four quarters. I normally like to start with the back section and work my way through so I put one down at a time and then I'm going to go ahead and separate those section 
that one quarter in a smaller sections to apply the aloe vera. I usually mix the aloe vera with black Jamaican castor oil. I don't use it all the time just because I just don't, but um, I use it once out of the two times that I apply the aloe vera in my hair per month. So that's the piece, the size of aloe vera. I go ahead and I go into the root first and um, I apply it all over that root section. And then after I apply it to the root section, I go ahead and massage it in. And you could see the clear white juice that's going in your hair. That's exactly what you need. And um, I rub it on the scalp. I have a dry scalp. And so that very it helps very much with my dry scalp. And I go ahead and massage it in. Now, after you use the aloe vera, it's going to look dried out after you rub it. So what you want to do is just scratch it a little bit. And there you go. Some more gel will pop up. So every time you rub it in your hair, you will notice that it's looked dry, like the top of the aloe vera looked dry and like there's nothing more. But best believe there's a lot more in there. You just have to go ahead and scrape, scrape, scrape and move along. And you get more juice, more and more juice. So I apply it to aloe vera to my hair. And so I apply it. I just rub my fingers through the length of my hair just to get it distributed evenly. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and finger comb my hair. And get it nice and wet from the aloe vera. And after a while, you're going to see my hair been transformed from dry hair to curls been popping up left, right, and center. The aloe vera is very good, I'm telling you. It has helped a lot with my hair journey. It has helped to straighten my hair, um, especially have, after like stripping my hair, clarifying my hair. It definitely helps to like bounce it back on the second week of my uh, hair wash. So here now I'm just going ahead and detangling my hair. It's better. I always detangle my hair when there it's it's wet and there are either conditioner or the aloe vera or something to soften it a detangler before i go ahead and detangle my hair just because it prevents breakage um it limits split hands and stuff etc here i'm just going to go ahead and add a dime size of jamaican black castor oil to my hair very good jamaican black castor oil it protects your hair it straightens your hair as well it makes your hair thick and um, it just overall add nourishment to your hair and scalp. So I'm just going to go ahead and rub that together and rub it in my hair. That method that I used to apply the castor oil where I put my hands together and kind of smooth it all the way down. That's the way I used to distribute the product even in my hair. And you can see my hair is not dry anymore. You can see the curl patterns coming up. Um, a little by little they're popping up and um, the aloe vera I'm telling you and the castor oil working together it just it's just so wonderful so now I'm gonna go ahead and twist that just to get it out of the way and have it all wrapped up now I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the air and now there you could just see that um, comparison of how the hair was dry before and when they applied the aloe vera and everything how it got um, very moist and the curls started to show so you know when the curls starting to show then you know your hair is very moisturized and i'll go ahead and put the aloe vera in this last section after i put the aloe vera in my hair i do let it sit for overnight mostly i try to let it sit for overnight if not i let it sit for a couple hours and i don't put it in my hair if i know i don't have a good three four hours or overnight to let it sit in there and when it's sitting there, I will wake up the next morning and I'll go ahead and wash my hair as normal with the uh, moisturizing conditioner and then uh, deep conditioning and then go ahead and style as usual. So that's how I do that. If you guys want to see a video, a video of how I go ahead and wash my hair on wash day, you can just leave a comment below and um, let's see when we could get that video done if you guys like that. All right. So here I'm just applying the aloe vera and detangling as I did with the rest of the sections. It 
do take a little time to add the aloe vera all over your hair but i'm telling you the turnover is great the results are amazing and it does soften your hair it balances the ph and it makes your hair nice and smooth um it's just overall amazing this aloe vera i'm telling you and as you can see that part i i scraped everything out of that piece and that's what's left basically it's just the green section so whenever it seems dry don't throw it out just keep scraping and applying it to your hair all right so here i'm already done i just have some leftover aloe vera i just rubbed it in my hair and now i'm just gonna wrap that up and that's that's the way i leave it until the next morning sometimes i take all the clips out and i just put the four section in one for the four twists i put them together in one and just use one clip instead um i do keep the four sections though in twists when i do when i put it up i do keep it in twists because that's easier for me to wash my hair and go about detangling so here i'm all done finally i'm gonna go ahead and put a shower cap on my head and usually after the shower cap, I'll tie my hair with a hair tie or something just to keep the heat more in my hair as I go about my day or as I sleep overnight. So that's it, folks. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think about this video. Bye.